You know, they came out and did exactly what they needed to do to start that game, and they came out and hit us right in the mouth, and um, we just kind of showed that we could bounce back from something like that, which was huge for us because uh, that's something we struggled with last year a little bit. And um, for our guys to come out and, and get right back on, on that horse and, and play a really good football game was a big deal for us. Beating then fourth-ranked Monroe City by a stunning 53 points on Friday certainly reads like a turning point program moment for Sal Shelby and the career high watermark yet of the Adam Gunterman coaching era. But the Cardinals are all too well aware that any true momentum here is contingent on pulling off an even bigger and trickier task on the road tomorrow night in Cahoka. We've talked you know, from day one that every single game is important and, and we knew Monroe was going to be a good football team, but we've known that Clark was going to be one of the top teams in our conference. Um, and now the reclassification, we knew that we were probably going to see him in districts. And uh, so no matter what happens Friday night, we're going to see each other again more than likely in, in district play. So um, this game not only has conference implications, but district as well. It's a mission that hinges on successfully attacking what might be the Tri-State's best 11-man defensive collective. I see solid everywhere. They, you know, you, as an offensive coordinator, you look and see, okay, where can I attack this? And, and they don't have too many weak spots on that defense. They, they are really, really stout everywhere, all the way from the secondary through the linebackers that are, that are probably one of the most underrated linebacker crew in around, um, all the way through their defensive line with um, Chamley and the other guys around there. They're really good players as well. And contending themselves with threats that go well beyond just Clark County franchise back Johnny Shin. No, it's not. They spread the ball around really well. And um, when you have really great five offensive linemen like they do, you're able to do that and keep defenses on their toes. And that's one of the good things that Coach Allen's done his whole career. And, um, you know, all the way back from when they had, you know, Spencer Gregory and those guys and um, spread that ball around and, and they've played really good football. It's not coincidental that South Shelby and Clark County entered this season as the preseason favorites to win the Clarence Cannon. And Friday's showdown may well go a long way in granting who ultimately takes the title strap. What is interesting in South's case is that so much of their preseason hype derived from the return of known football commodities. Friday's breakthrough over Monroe, however, was just as driven by a group of guys who weren't exactly household names coming in. Uh, you know, the light getting shined on someone like Cooper Elson, um, who is an outstanding outside linebacker um, and a good offensive lineman, to Aiden Magruder and, and Caden Poole in that junior class that's uh, really talented, and uh, Gabe Bowen, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, how he's played on, on defense as well has been outstanding. You touched on Gabe Bowen going into this yeah. season. What makes him special? And kind of, he's the solidifying point for, I mean, you had kind of all these pillars. Yeah. He's kind of the connective tissue, isn't he? Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, one of the great things about Gabe, you know, uh, he reads extremely well. He studies the game, and, and he's just really football smart. And uh, him being able to react on a guard read or you know whatever we're reading that week, he does a really great job with that. And you know he comes from a, a football family. You know his dad was a great athlete. Uh, he's first cousins with Cameron. I mean, they're it, it's a football family, and and uh, that definitely shows through. A group that includes their starting quarterback. For sure, uh, Chase has absolutely you know stepped ahead and done some really good stuff. And we haven't asked him to do a ton. But what we do ask him to do, he does it really, really well. Um, and, you know, whether that be running the football or throwing the football and kind of the things that he's done really well that I was really pleasantly surprised with is his ability to check things at the line. Um, just being able to grow from that. And that comes from learning from Trey last year and uh, kind of going, you know, looking at a defense and saying, hey, let's do this instead. And he's done some really great, great job with that.